Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Holy crap, it's been a while since I covered a Remnant 2 patch. And man, what a good one to cover today because it has a lot of stuff to go over. We're talking about events. We're talking about quality of life. We're talking about balancing, bug fixes, and the big one, and the one that I'm most excited for, crossplay. And if you have not heard about crossplay coming, Gunfire Games have been pretty much shoving it in their face on their Twitter page for the past few days. And now it is finally here. And I am excited. Patch notes 408516 was made available on Thursday, February 29th at 12.08 p.m. EST. And the update size on Xbox Series X was 11.18 gigabytes. Unfortunately, I do not know the size on the other platforms, but I would presume it's around the same. So hopefully that is helpful to someone. And finally, if you guys are enjoying the content, please don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you can help me get to my goal of 500 subscribers and get monetized i would heavily appreciate it so very much with that being said let me stop blabbering on and get into the patch notes all right so with patch 408516 we have the following crossplay to start off we're thrilled to announce the addition of crossplay a highly anticipated feature in remnant 2 now players can unite against the root irrespective of their chosen platform Team up with friends or discover open games across platforms and embark on your journey together. All right, so taking a look at the dev note that they have here for console players, crossplay is set on by default. This setting will affect your ability to see other games, including friends games within the game if their crossplay setting is set to off. If you can't see your friend's game in game, then confirm that you have matching crossplay settings. The off setting will prevent you from joining another game that have crossplay enabled. Settings on PC that use frame generation currently blocks the Epic Online Services overlay, which is required for crossplay functionality of joining friends. And that is everything for the crossplay section, something very exciting that we all have been waiting for. And if you guys are wondering where you can ask more questions or get more answers about crossplay, feel free to go to this link. I'll also put it in the description. And there's also the Crossplay guide that you can take a look at here. So feel free to pause the video if you want to just take a look at that really quick. All right, and we're moving on to the Aberration Domination event, which is also another exciting thing we get to do right now. It says the root have seized yet another opportunity to unleash a horde of menacing aberrations across all worlds. From February 29th to March 5th, gear up and face this challenge head on, defeat these sinister foes and collect their elusive corrupted shards, a rare material with untold potential. Head over to the Enematic Dwell in Well 13, where you can trade these corrupted shards to craft corrupted versions of some new special weapons. Show the route that even in the darkest of times, our resolve shines brighter than ever. We then have another dev note here. This is our second big aberration event. We figured why not celebrate the addition of crossplay with another aberration event. We've added even more corrupted weapons to acquire, so group up and take on the route. Next, we go on the quality of life. General, we've added support for FSR3. The option is now accessible in the video settings. Fix an issue for players who started with Gunslinger Archetype from the pre-order bonus, but switch to a different machine or account, which caused them to be locked out of their character. We've added support for friend invites for Sony PlayStation 5. Moving on to balance. General Evnote, while we have a larger balance patch planned for DLC 2, we wanted to make a few adjustments to certain elements to set the stage for the larger patch. While not comprehensive, these changes should provide room for a bit more experimentation before the larger balance patch. Archetypes Hunter Reduce Hunter's focus ADS requirement from 1 second to 0.5 seconds. Dev note, this means that the player need only aim for half a second before hunter focus bonus is applied instead of the full one second before. Challenger, Die Hard now grants one stack of bulwark while it is unavailable. War Stomp now deals explosive damage. Dev note, we wanted to make Die Hard a bit more impactful since it's a prime perk. While having an extra life is great, the 10 minute downtime is very long. Instead of shorten the cooldown, the challenge becomes tougher until Die Hard is available again. Medic, 
no changes dev note medic is already powerful what did you expect calm down okay i see you devs handler pack hunter no longer requires the companion to be up to grant the bonus pack hunter now also increased melee damage and melee crit chance 30 percent five percent at max companion how sizes are now affected by aura size increases dev note when the companion went down after taking too much damage the handler lost all damage bonuses we now only require the handler to be in range of the companion however you should always try to get your buddy up because that's the right thing to do we also included melee damage to their damage perk to make them a bit more versatile gunslinger increased quick draw charges by plus one increased damage by 50 percent summoner dominator gains explosive damage type dominator no longer grants a damage increased range forward slash melee on sacrifice dominator now allows grants a bonus to mod skill explosive damage dev note we received much feedback from players wishing to play the summoner as a more minion focused archetype so we removed the damage benefits to range and melee added an explosive damage bonus which works for sacrifice and all other explosive options and made them always active this should give you more options for mod skill and explosive builds while leaving ranged and melee to other archetypes there are potentially more summoner changes in the works alchemist added melee speed and melee charge speed to frenzy dust added skill reset if thrown vile does not find the ground after a certain period of time enabled flash caster and throw speed to benefit vile skills engineer added range damage to metal worker damage perk max 25 percent at level 10 turrets can now critical hit dev note to make engineer a bit more viable with the turret placed we added damage boost to the engineer's range damage note the heavy weapon itself is still considered skill damage this is to benefit their primary forward slash secondary weapon when not brandishing or deploying a heavy weapon archon increase the damage of chaos gate from 15 percent to 50 percent chaos gate now causes increased incoming damage by 15 percent last 10 seconds after leaving power creep now properly allows mod generation while a mod is active dev note we wanted to buff chaos gate while keeping the original design concept it now grants a noticeable damage buff but the trade-off is that the incoming damage penalty cannot be avoided by simply leaving the aoe players will need to be more careful after obtaining the buff invader stacks of shark prime perk now fall off one at a time reduce the total duration of shark for 10 seconds from 15 seconds perfect dodge evade now instantly grants five stacks of shark Dev note, the original shark buff lasts 15 seconds total. There were many cases where it would fall off and require you to start building it all over again, thus making the invader harder to keep active. We changed it so that the buffs fall off individually and lowered the individual buff time to 10 seconds. For a total of 50 seconds total damage increase, we will monitor the durations and make adjustments when necessary. Explorer, dramatically sped up the dig animation of gold digger dev note it was tricky for many players to get a handful of fountains going during combat so we basically half the time it takes for one to appear ritualist erupt now deals explosive damage death wish now respects kinship trait again but does not get reduced by armor as it once did death wish no longer kills the player and will instead leave them with one hp gear forward slash items atonement fold disabled voice lines for i'm bleeding when worn Dev note, while not really a balancing issue, the constant voice callouts were pretty annoying, so we disabled them while wearing the ring. Understood. Point focus ring, reduce spread reduction from 35 to 25%. Focusing jewel, reduce spread reduction from 35 to 30%. Focusing jewel, increased recoil reduction from 25 to 50%. Spread reduction fragment, reduce max spread reduction 30 to 20%. Spread reduction fragment, reduce minimum spread reduction from 3% to 1. Tranquility font, reduced spread reduction from 35 to 25%. Dev note, spread reduction was getting out of hand and it's still incredibly strong. We haven't put a cap on it yet, but we may do so in the future. 
so now we'll dial the numbers back a bit so that if you want to turn shotguns into snipers you need to invest a bit more into it feedback mutator can now generate mod power while mod is active reprocessed heart can now generate mod power while a mod is active weapons anguish fixed weapon scaling to properly cap at three times instead of two times level 10 crescent moon overcharged shots during moonlight barrage no longer shoot two bolts dev note total damage potential of this weapon is unchanged the only difference is that we no longer reward a non-perfect charge you must hit perfect charge to reach maximum damage twisted arbulus primary fire now refreshes any current guardian mark on hit while mod is active nebula nano swarm now applies a very small corrosive dot huntress spear added a small corrosive dot on hit increase projectile speed increase charge speed spectral blade remove the ability to scale aoe aura traits dev note this was never intended slip through the cracks now finally on to our bug fixes progression and rewards fix an issue where the mp60r or chicago typewriter wouldn't spawn in some players wards fix an issue where some players were not receiving credits for acquiring 50,000 scrap archetypes ritualist fix an issue where ritualist wrath perk was not granting increased critical chance fix an issue where players could have more than one ragged poppet in their inventory Fix an issue where miasma did not function as described. Fix an issue where eruption did not function as described. Handler. Fix an issue where support dog skill was not healing for the correct value. Alchemist. Fix an issue where thrown vials failed to enter cooldown if thrown out of bounds in the world. Challenger. Fix an issue where face of danger was not working as described in description. Gear forward slash items. Fix an issue where sequence shot max value was calculating incorrectly. Fix Fix an issue where a tier booster was sometimes not providing its buff when the player equipped a heavy weapon. Fix an issue where active bloodline mod immediately after applying bleed would result in infinitely reapplying bleed with merciless. Fix an issue where unequipping embrace of Shahala would cause all statuses and buff effects and UI to no longer work. Fix an issue where blood jewel did not scale with duration. Fix an issue where twisted wounds did not scale with duration. Fix an issue where energizing neck coil did not scale with duration fix an issue where detonation trigger did not work correctly with eruption fix an issue where compulsion loop would trigger from space crabs mod explosions fix an issue where fed it wounds corrosive damage wasn't affected by weapons level fix an issue where red ring of death was not working correctly with fire tornado fix an issue where kill switch mutator damage was reduced when attached to shotguns Fix an issue where Monarch was increasingly draining ammo reserves while using Bullet Storm. Fix an issue where Corrupted Meridian was not working with Sequence Shot while wearing Archer Ring. Fix an issue where Corrupted Meridian was dealing weak spot damage and being affected by damage fallout. Dev note: As Corrupted Meridian fires an explosive projectile, it was never meant to behave in this way. Fix an issue where Indarius Endless Loop would not activate if players took damage while already sprinting. Fix an issue where if you fired a second soul binder projectile at the same target the second one would not refresh the timer and it would expire at the same time as the first fix an issue where while boar and soul binder were on the same target wormhole damage buff would be consumed fix an issue where increased casting speed was not affecting hunter's mark or bullet storm fix an issue where feast masters leftovers were not considered unique and is possible to acquire multiple fix an issue where hardcore metal ban did not function as described fix an issue where participation metal did not function as described instead of providing 10 health it was providing 10 percent fix an issue where all seeing eye was able to be sold for zero scrap fix an issue where chain of command mod were homing back towards failed harpoon shot fix an issue where overloaded was dealing more than the intended amount of damage fix an issue where supernova was unaffected by damage boost from harmonizer fix an issue where weapon lord buff was not being consumed and applied to fault line shockwave damage on stone breaker fix an issue where stone of malevolence and Farron sigil were not functioning as described fix an issue where reboot was working incorrectly 
with some item combinations. Fix an issue where Vulcan turret fires to the right of the reticle when held and when not aimed directly at an enemy. Fix an issue where windfall blades were only doing damage when hitting protective plating, explosives, and weak spots. Fix an issue where fire damage from black tar grenade was dealing less damage when the player had more statuses duration bonuses. Fix an issue where star killers reload particle effects could accumulate over time. Fix an issue where anguish's hard shot had a chance to benefit twice from bandit mutator. Fix an issue where overloads AOE explosive fire off every second when it was applied to ritualist purge perk. Fix an issue where overloaded status was dealing reduced damage when spread with the vile prime perk. Fix an issue where overloaded explosion could deal critical damage. Dev note, status effects are not meant to deal critical damage. Fix an issue where the impact cannon in heavy carry mode would play unintended visual effects when performing a melee attack. Fix an issue where nebulous corrosive dot would not end. Fix an issue where AOE damage was not affecting non-combat environmental critters. Enemies. Fix an issue where root flyers projectiles were tracking the player too much. Fix an issue where the sunken witch and the Bruin blade of the king were not playing some of the voice line. Fix an issue where generating band was not working correctly and updated UI to reflect proper behavior. Fix an issue where ring of spears was not able to be triggered while in wounded state. Fix an issue where the pan brute was not playing death animation if killed while vaulting. Fix an issue where invincible root zombies could spawn in the legion boss fight fix an issue where nano phase mod could potentially cause the game to crash ui fix an issue where corrupted shard text would disappear from tooltip while in dwells shop fix an issue where players could experience duplicate question options while interacting with mccabe fix an issue where if the medic archetype was active and the tranquil heart was equipped it would cause the status text to flash fix an issue where ritualist affliction displayed a negative value in its description after resetting trait points with orb of undoing fix an issue where invaders wormhole abilities icon would display incorrect value fix an issue where the color of text in tainted blade mutator was incorrect fix an issue where the damage numbers of hotshot mod were displaying incorrect values fix an issue where the damage numbers of tainted blade and fed it wounds mutator were displaying incorrect values fix an issue where the stat numbers for kill switch mutator were displaying incorrect values fix an issue where sometimes charging secondary archetype would change primary archetype instead fix an issue where buffs were displaying incorrectly under health bar fix an issue where it was possible if holding down multiple buttons to bypass the second confirmation to delete a character fix an issue where changes to status effects from affliction trait were not up updating while in the character menu. Fix an issue where Corrupted Merciless stated it was doing zero bleed damage over 10 seconds in item description. Fix an issue where some mods were not changing the color of damage numbers when equipped on a bow weapon. Fix an issue where some relic fragments had inconsistent descriptions when inspected. Fix an issue where upgrade was displayed in UI pop-up when downgrading a mutator. Fix an issue where chaos gate active buff description was missing in character screen. Fix an issue where after unequipping a second archetype, the archetype menu would no longer open for some players. Finally, we move on to miscellaneous fixes. Fix various issues with environmental collision throughout the game. Fix issues Issue. Fix an issue where players could destroy tamps in Mother's Mine area with Merciless. Fix an issue where Sparkfire and Bolt Driver were not triggering controller vibrations. Fix an issue where if Toggle Sprint was set to off, there would be a delay for stamina regeneration. Fix an issue where Ring of the Castaway was missing after traveling to Sewer and back. Fix an issue where a player could potentially draw enemy aggro and be killed during the Red Prince cinematic. Fix an issue where where some players were unable to unequip the ritualist archetype if it was equipped as a secondary archetype. Fix an issue where some players could not sell items to whispers unless they first bought something of the same value from him. Fix an issue where Talrathus door would not open if the player died to friendly fire while attempting to open it. Fix an issue where the player would not have the correct follow-up interaction with the Dran Preacher if they previously spoke to him, received the ring, and then changed their armor. And that was all of the patch notes. I know that was a mouthful, the process and all of that good stuff, but now you have all the additions, the balancing, and the fixes. I know you just heard me read a lot of stuff, but hopefully it helped you out so you can go in and readjust, you know, your characters and builds and 
whatnot in the game. And now you just got more information than what you had before. Now, I don't want to take up too much more of your time, but guys, as always, if you did enjoy the content and you found it helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'd heavily appreciate it. I really want to get the 500 subscribers, so that would help me out a ton. And finally, don't forget to leave some comments letting me know what your favorite things were from the patch notes and maybe let me know some things that never made it to the patch notes that might need to also get fixed. I'd be curious to know and hear from you. So let me know in the comments section. With that being said, I thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.